Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So, as you can see, Washington wide receiver Terry McLaurin does not plan to attend this week's mandatory minicamp per source. McLaurin is continuing to seek a contract extension consistent with other comparable wide receivers that recently signed. Until he has it, he will miss reps with new Washington quarterback Carson Wentz. So, you know, uh, for the people that's been out the loop, you know, he did attend some workouts earlier in the spring. But he skipped voluntary OTAs, and now he will be skipping a three-day mandatory minicamp, bruh. Right? Terry McLaurin, he's letting it be known, look, before I hit this field again, I need my bucks, bruh. Right? And I understand exactly where he's coming from. Right now, he's only making a base salary of 2.79 mil, which is, excuse me, an extreme discount for the production that he's putting on the field. Then on top of that, you got to look at it like this. He's been consistent. He's been putting up these numbers for three years now with below average and inconsistent quarterback play. He had a new quarterback every year. He had a multiple quarterback starting every single year. And guess what he's done? Going out there and still put up numbers and produce. And he's done this while battling through injuries, bro. There's not too many wide receivers doing this bro first year as a rookie put up 919 yards seven touchdowns second year 1118 yards only four touchdowns but 2021 he had 1053 yards five touchdowns bro and then you gotta look at like this terry mcclure's a receiver that's a great route runner he's a deep ball threat he gets contested catches bro terry mcclure can do it all man this is a guy they developed to exceed expectations, bro. He was a third-round pick. Pay this dude, man. They talking about they claim they wish he would have still shown up as a leader if he wasn't going to work out. What's the point, bro? Ain't nobody doing that, bro. Then they said they claim they want to have a relationship with Carson Wentz. Pay him. Pay him so he can step on the field, man. It's pretty much that simple, bro. I understand 25 to 30 mils to market right now for receivers. That's a lot of money for the wide receiver position, but sadly, that's where the market has come. And I will say the league is going to have to do something about that because we all know that the talent at the wide receiver position specifically is getting better by the season, bro. So teams just can't afford to keep missing out on their investments, bro. The cash space is going to have to get increased or somebody's going to have to start getting paid less. I don't know, but something's going to have to give as far as the salary cap. That's just my personal opinion. I don't know if that's even possible or not. But Terry McLaurin deserves his money. They're saying that the Washington football team, they're pretty much being a little bit hesitant on giving him that top of the line money. But, you know, man, at the end of the day, bro, at this point, you can't afford to do anything but pay Terry McLaurin, bro. You are in a good spot now. You got a quarterback that... Not only is a bridge quarterback, but can also potentially be a long-term solution, Carson Wentz. Not a bad option at all. Probably is an upgrade, bro. Then you look at the wide receiver position. They have been looking at receivers to pair with Terry McLaurin for help for a while now. Guess what? They invested in Jayon Dawson, who I've heard nothing but good about this offseason, bro. They are extremely impressed with him, bro. You got Curtis Samuel coming back from injury. You got Chris Sims in rotation. They got some other guys out there, you feel me, for them. They got Logan Thomas coming back from injury, who was coming along at the tight end position. They got um, Jayon, I mean, not Jayon. They got McKissick in the backfield as the second running back. And they got Antonio Gibson, who are both multi-purpose backs that can get it in the run game, in the pass game, bro. At this point in time, you cannot afford to take any steps back. Not paying Terry McLaurin. And trading him would be a huge mistake. Making Terry McLaurin mad to the point where he doesn't even want an extension no more. He just wants to get traded would be a huge mistake and a loss for the Washington um, Commanders, bruh. They have to pay Terry McLaurin, bruh. It's no if, ands, or buts about it. They could be cocky all they want. They could try to replace him like the Titans replaced A.J. Brown. But at the end of the day, bro, they need to pay Terry McLaurin, bro. It's just a matter of when they'll do it. So... Just let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Do you think Terry McLaurin will get that 25 or 30 mil? And remember, it's not about if you think he's worth it. That's where the mark is at. 
He's next in line. He qualifies for that bread. So they're going to have to at least give him 25 like A.J. Brown, bro. It's pretty much that simple. Or do you think he will get traded? Let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. And I got some more content coming soon.